It seems like Marjorie Harvey's cloudless life is coming to an end with new exposure about her dark past, chasing her even in Hollywood. Apparently, even after securing the position of Steve Harvey's wife, she cannot escape the ghosts of her past, and her reputation as stylish and nice lady is about to be stained with dirty secrets involving several marriages and even drug dealing. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. I keep my eyes on the most scandalous events in show business and always bring you the hottest updates. As they say, a day without another drama in Hollywood is a wasted day. So Marjorie Harvey doesn't give us a chance to waste this moment because she is under the destroying fire of her past deeds. How come this sophisticated lady was in the center of a drug ring just a few decades ago, jumping from one bed to another? Stay with me until the end of this video so you won't miss any detail. When Steve Harvey tied the knot for the third time, he repeatedly stated that he had finally ended up with the woman of his dreams. It seems like Steve was in love with Marjorie since the first day he had met many years ago, and it took him painful 18 years to finally hear her I do in 2005. According to Steve's side of things, he first saw Marjorie in 1987, when she showed up late to one of his stand-up shows. Ever since he landed his eyes on her, he realized that she was the one. As Steve recalls himself, the very first words I ever said to Marjorie, and I kid you not, I don't know who you are, but I'll marry you one day. I told her that in 1987. But as Steve confessed back then, Marjorie was married to another man. And Steve wasn't that famous and wealthy, so he couldn't offer anything to this woman to win her heart except for his never-ending love. And although it was stated that Steve and Marjorie were shortly dating at around that time, it seems like all communication between them suddenly came to a stop and anyway, Marjorie was living like a queen back then with her first husband, Jim Townsend, the famous drug dealer from Memphis, Tennessee, and he was the king of the street there. So Marjorie knew where money was at that time and didn't hesitate to stay by Jim's side. And as people are saying, she was actively participating in her then husband's business activities. And it seems like past is catching up with her because both she and her husband, Steve, may face several problems because of her close ties with these kinds of things. As sources reveal, Marjorie didn't play a role of a housewife looking after two kids. It was a full ride for her, sharing not only bed with her man, but every nuances of his business as well. Well, unlike Jim, Marjorie was never caught and sentenced. And it seems like Townsend cut a deal with the authorities because he couldn't let the mother of his kids end up in prison with him. Well, yeah, Jim was caught red-handed trying to buy a stash of product of a size of a teenager. And you don't get away with such things. The man was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison. And I guess Marjorie didn't expect him to be back to her. As she was on the way to mint her happiness, she rolled out and divorced him after five years into his sentence. Very soon, Marjorie found herself in bed with another kingpin, Darnell Woods, and even married him. Apparently, something about that drug hustle was so important to Marjorie that she decided to stick to another dealer for a while, probably expecting the same level of wealth and riches. There's been a talk on social media if Marjorie has a thing for this business and whether she probably wasn't only good at dealing, but at using as well. But her newly found happiness didn't last long because Darnell met the same fate as Marjorie's first husband, and the couple got divorced after a few years. Throughout all these years, Marjorie was still in touch with her first ex Jim Townsend, and as it was reported, she even received his phone calls from the prison and even visited him there. But apparently, this woman decided to cut all ties to such a dangerous life, and as soon as Steve Harvey found the way to her heart, obviously, with a pile of money, she severed all ties with her past. Unlike his miserable life in the 90s, Steve was in a completely another place when he and Marjorie finally started dating. Harvey was ready to take financial responsibility for a woman like Marjorie, and he didn't think twice before making sure she belonged to him and no one else. Only a couple of years after, he proposed to her, and it didn't even look strange to him that he decided to chase the woman from his dream still being married to another person. I mean, what a great example to follow. Steve divorced his then wife, Mary Lee, and as she confessed, left her with nothing because he was only thinking of how to sustain Marjorie's appetites. You know, being married to two kingpins certainly raises your standards of living. Many people find it interesting how Marjorie was hopping from one man to another in search of a better and more secure financial position. As one person said, sounds like she's been passed around more than a collection plate. She's not a gold digger. She's one of the best cons I've ever seen. And another added, this relationship is just one big transaction that both of them signed up for. That's their business and it'll work until he gets tired of paying. But it looks like Steve is still head over heels in love with this lady and he didn't hesitate to leave his ex-wife with nothing, only to provide for Marjorie. As Mary Lee stated, Steve not only betrayed her by handing her the divorce papers, but he also tried to silent her with a gag order, prohibiting Mary to speak her truth. According to Mary Lee, she knew about Steve's affair with Lady Heroin as certain people still call Marjorie on the internet and she even read their intimate emails. 
And what makes this story even more creepy is the fact that it was Steve's own bodyguard who reminded him about Marjorie's availability. As Steve recalls, it happened that one of my bodyguards, Boomerang, kept in touch with one of my bodyguards, Boomerang, kept in touch with one of Marjorie's girlfriends. But what you never expected to learn about this bodyguard, that before offering his services as a celebrity security, he was having certain type of business with offering lonely people time with luxurious ladies, if you know what I mean. And it's not some kind of hidden secret because the man kept bragging about his past, which only makes me question the type of connection Marjorie had with this guy. Well, I guess that was a topic for the next investigation and back to Marjorie's dark past. Well, Steve's ex-wife, Mary Lee, is confident that Marjorie, apart from her two marriages to drug kingpins and alleged dealing and using, also had connections with this boomerang bodyguard and probably at the time of his dark past. And it feels like the future, Mrs. Harvey convinced her old friend to put a good word for her. Well, in his love letter to Marjorie, which Steve wrote on the 15th anniversary of their marriage, he recalled when my bodyguard boomerang handed me his phone day in 2005, I had no idea who was on the other side of it, but I recognized your voice right away and it was the best day of my life life. And while Steve is ready to cover his wife from head to toes with compliments, words of love, and of course, luxury, one of Marjorie's ex-husbands also has a word or two about the true nature of this woman. Finally being released from the prison after 26 years behind the bars, Jim Townsend doesn't hide his contempt toward Marjorie, who managed to secure a status of celebrity while his was doing a bid for both of them. Jim is adamant to tell his side of things on that story in his upcoming tell, all book entitled Snakes in the Garden, which release is scheduled at July this year. And this book is apparently a nail biter, judging by an excerpt already a nail biter, judging by an excerpt already available to the public. In this extract, Jim talks about his daughter Morgan. And guys, this seems to be horrifying beginning because it says, the sight of Morgan always brought joy to my heart. She was truly the apple of my eye and the only reason I hadn't killed her mother. As Morgan couldn't understand what was happening, she turned her attention back to me and locked eyes with me, giving me a look that said, come and get me daddy. By what it looks, the book will become a bestseller instantly after the release, even with a quite hefty price tag of almost 30 bucks for a Kindle version on Amazon. And this is only the beginning. And I guess Jim was not exaggerating when he said that this would a tell all story, which only means one thing. There will more truth spilled and poor Marjorie has to brace herself for what's coming for her. So far, she feels pretty pleased being Steve's wife and staying away from all drug scandals. And as many people note, this is a match of beauty and a bag. Well, let's see if her celebrity status will protect her from the storm and will she able to enjoy her luxury after this release. As one person wrote, Marjorie used her looks to get herself financial gains. She's fortunate she didn't get any jail time. You can't knock the hustle. And another added, sounds like the real kingpin is Marjorie. That woman got game for real. And when you have game like that, you play it well. Well, it seems like Marjorie knows exactly what she wants in life and doesn't hesitate to move from one wealthy and influential man to another. But it seems like she secured her position with Steve now and not planning to leave anytime soon. Well, I wonder what Steve would say when he learns more ugly details of his woman's past from that book. And what do you reckon? Will Steve try to get rid of Marjorie after learning about her past? Or is he ready to leave past in the past? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, Check my other video about Marjorie Harvey's ties to dealing elites. Apparently, she knows about the products more than we can imagine. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and I promise to be back very soon with a new portion of gossip about your favorite celebrities.